Hello, Internet. Well, I'm here with you today to discuss this Zeltex Super Pro 7500 and a cool new accessory for it from our friend Alexander. Um, Alexander has done some amazing work with the Zeltex 6100 6000 and 5000 series programmers. Um, so, a little backstory if you haven't followed me for a while. If you are a new subscriber, or if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It really helps. Um, I purchased this Zeltex 7500 because I had a lot of BGA chips I had to program for a client, and it required a specialized adapter, um, which I was searching for the adapter, and I found this programmer with this adapter which was the adapter I was looking for, for a little bit more money than the price of just the adapter. So this is a GX5104 BGA adapter. Oh, those little pins. Um, this adapter's about a little over $500. Um, but it served its purpose, it did its job and I ordered a GX001 adapter, which is just the standard 48 pin dip adapter. So, um, I wanted to be able to use my standard adapters that I use on the 6000 6100N. Um, like this one is a uh, standard TSOP 48. You can get these adapters for five to $10. Um, here's a, you know, under $10 quad flat pack 32. This adapter from Zeltec would be a 200 plus. Um, Zeltec adapters for this programmer range anywhere between $100 to $700. Um, here's another one. This is a quad flat pack 44 to dip. Um, so we can use these with a magic chip which I have for the 6100. Um, they work flawlessly. Um, so what I'm gonna show you is what Alexander sent me. Um, he sent me just the chip to replace my Magic Chip 2 chip. Um, so that is right here. This is a Magic Chip. This Magic Chip replaces the Zeltec AE801, which is like an LTK4200 chip. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, Zeltec rebrands them AE801. But it's that chip right there. Um, so you replace that chip. with this little board right here. Just five wires you solder in. And uh, let me remove my protective cover. Because when these are on the bench, you end up putting things on top of them and you don't want to damage your high rose connectors. And they're not that expensive. High rose connectors are only less than $10 a piece, but they're a pain in the rear to replace because this one, there's 200 pins right there, 100 pins each connector. So you really don't want to damage those. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in. It goes in just like a normal 48 pin dip. So this just allows, this chip here, it stores the uh, adapter ID number. So this GX5104 is stored in that. Otherwise, this, if it didn't check to verify that adapter matches, it would work just fine without it. So I'm gonna power this up, have a drink of coffee. Hey, USB detected. I'm gonna get on the computer here. I'm gonna light up the 7500 software. 
There it is, she's in remote mode. Awesome. So this adapter, so say if you wanted to use a quad flat pack 32, you the software would tell you, oh, you need a GX. Uh, let me just type that in here. Device, select device. At mega 328P. TQFP32. Okay, and it's going to give me an error on the screen that the uh, it needs a GX3112. Well, I don't have a GX3112. So I could type in GX3112 using these keys here. I'll go in a video later on that. This is just a quick show you that it's available and working. Um, but if I did type it in, it would save. So I am going to just type in like have GX001. I'm going to do, it, if you watch right here, SP7K, and then you'll see option OK. I will go control S. OK. And then we have a GX. 1001 and if I scroll up control S GX 1004 so yeah this is like version point zero point three I expect him to have some revisions and he's pretty good at updating if there's any bugs found on um, I will link to his telegram in the description if you want one of these. Just ask in his 7500 channel. His name is Alexander. Um, it's in Russian, but uh, you can hit translate. But I will link the telegram below in the description. So if uh, you want one, check it out. But that's all. Have a good night or a good day. See ya.